Franco Cavallari coming to you from Biologic to talk about essential fatty acids, omega-3 versus omega-6. This is a subject matter that's prolific and everybody knows about it, but it's really misunderstood. Let me show you this, okay? Um, right here, this flow chart, linoleic acid omega-6, alpha linolenic acid omega-3 in potential within. And I discuss this thoroughly in the context of inflammation. Now, why do we choose dietary sources and supplements that have a higher omega-3 content? The reason is that even though the body needs the essential fatty acid omega-6, it's called linoleic acid. That is the essential one. This one at the top. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 fat, which is essential. And so is the omega-3 alpha linolenic acid. Okay. They're derived from plant sources. Now, a great plant source, even though people talk about, oh, seed oils are bad, flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil has a higher omega-3 content over the omega-6 content. So high omega-3, low 6. Why? Because the processed diet tends to have a high 6 contribution because the omega-6 tends to survive processing better than omega-3 when fats oxidize, when fats are processed. Now, what happens when you take omega-6 loaded diet versus three, you tend to create a pro-inflammatory state because the omega-6 fats are processed in this flow chart to create prostaglandins. These are hormones, autocrine hormones that tend to be inflammatory. And when you eat a balanced diet between the two, omega-6 and omega-3, you the flow chart this flow is better managed by the body to create balance. So when you have an inflammatory cascade, it's easier for the body to balance it with the omega-3 loaded prostaglandin, prostaglandin 1, okay? So versus prostaglandin 3. Now, how do fish fats fit into this? Well, fish fats do not supply the essential fats. See, the misunderstood fact is that fish fats supply essential fats. They do not. They supply conditionally essential fats fats. It means they're essential under certain conditions. What are those conditions? The conditions are when your body cannot process linoleic and alpha linolenic acid, omega-6 and omega-3, to create the downstream fats that are put into your cells, then you want the fish fats that are pre-made. They're pre-made by mammals and by these fish that we eat, okay? EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid. DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, those are both omega-3 fats made from alpha-linolenic acid down this path. But if you have too much omega-6 in your diet and you have other factors in your diet that are intruding on general metabolism, then the body fails to make enough EPA and DHA, which are the downstream omega-3 fatty acids that are important for the cells and for hormone balance and for inflammatory balance. That's why we revert to using fish fats, EPA and DHA, because they are pre-made for the body in case your cells are not effe effe uh, effectively uh, balancing and processing omega-6 fats, linoleic acid, and alpha-linolenic acid down this path to have a balanced inflammatory response. So it's good to supply the alpha-linolenic omega-3 from plant oils, and some omega-6 if you want, but primarily the omega-3 is more important, but to also supply the fish fats that are pre-made to give you a head start in your cells towards the anti-inflammatory path. That's how it all works.